All right, uh, let's see. So I should probably mention this. I've gone back and uh, A ranked every mission. Uh, I didn't really have much to do today, so I was just like, all right, let's just turn this game on times four speed since it's turn based and tactical. Mostly turn based. Uh, I had to retry this one a little bit on times two speed because the mortars killed me. Uh, but yeah, so I went back and, and A ranked every, every mission that I've done thus far, and I'm very wealthy. Uh, it's not actually that hard to A-rank the games. Yeah, there's no, there's no S-rank, uh, in this one. Only A-rank. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot easier if you actually know where the enemies are going to be and how to counter them. So, you know, put the sniper this direction, you know, get a couple of Lancers here preemptively so when the tanks show up, you can just shoot them in the butt. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we have a lot of oh, stuff. Hey. Uh, money and whatnot, so I'm gonna quickly go through... I'm gonna quickly go through and see if there's any alternate types. Wait, mortars. Oh! Oh, the Elias is the anti-armor. Oh. It is also more accurate. I don't know if I'm gonna use the Elias, though. Honestly. It's tempting. Let's see, I've been wondering if I should get this, uh, but I haven't heard a single thing on it. How do I like it so far? It's really good. It's one of the better uh, turn-based tactical uh, RPGs I've played in ages. I played a ton of, uh, I played a ton of, like, Final Fantasy Tactics and, oh, I don't even remember what the game was called. Was it, like, Evolution? Uh, there were a number of, like, kind of turn based -y tactical games in the GameCube era. And some of them were great. Oh, what is the name? No, it wasn't Evolution. It was... What was the turn-based strategy shooter? It's it's this. No. It wasn't Battalion Wars. It was Future Tactics, The Uprising. Uh, which was this awful game that I played back in um uh back on my GameCube, where it was effectively like you'd run around the battlefield, then stop, then shoot. And it was awkward and had a kind of weird plot, and it was really, really hard, but I really liked it. And so playing Valkyria Chronicles, it feels almost like uh, a natural evolution of that style. And so I've actually been really appreciating it. Let's see, so kind of like a Fire Emblem type game? Sort of, slightly different, but uh, if you like Fire Emblem, you'd probably enjoy this one. It's got a lot of the same, like... You know, these units are good against these other units and stuff like that, and so on and so forth. So there's nothing I can spend this massive amount of money I've I've racked up so far. What is this? Okay. Oh, hey, Claude. Accidentally, uh, whenever I alt-tab, it puts ah. it into windowed mode, and I hate that. But whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to do training field. Actually, Great I should probably do mess hall first. Before I waste all of this EXP. Now Let's see if we have any anybody in the mess hall. Done for. So I was I was grinding. I was doing all of the the A rank stuff at times five, sometimes ten t times ten speed. Uh, made positioning kind of hard, but it made flipping through the UI so much easier. All of these like delays aren't there oh, at times ten speed. Anyway, what's up with the bandit? Oh, it's a little souvenir from our last mission. Don't worry, it only grazed me. It's not like you to get hit. You're normally so cautious. It was nothing but a stray bullet. Wasn't even meant for me. Guess it's just bad luck then. Anything can happen on the battlefield. Yep, pretty much. Then again, the fact that I'm the one who got hit is probably good luck. Why is that? It's easy to get first aid to snipers. We stick to the rear. Soldiers on the front lines aren't so fortunate. That's true. If the fighting drags on long enough, even a shallow wound like that could turn fatal. Huh, you're right. Wish there was a better way to get urgent care to the front line. Urgent care? Wait, I think I know an order for that. Learn first aid. Yeah, Not we might as well get Claude. as many orders Not as we can. 
This will give our troops a lifeline in case of emergencies. I don't know if we have any more. If we don't, awesome. If we do, I'll keep buying them. Guess I'm alone. Okay, so well, nothing. Break but yeah, I want to pick up as many orders as possible before I do anything. So, uh, there's good actually a really again. good, uh, a really good description of what this game is, which now is specifically made of. XCOM, but anime, and it doesn't hate your guts. Yeah, that is actually a really good, uh, that is a really good summation of what this game is and how everything is handled. Stuff is expensive. Um, do I want to keep busting up the snipers? Snipers, scouts, and grenadiers. At least for now. Uh, confirm? Do I have to... I don't have to hit... You're not done! Okay. What I'd like to do is get some of these guys up to level 11 if I can. You've leveled up! Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you Unfortunately... There's all these, like, you've got a new order, a battle potential, stuff like that. And it's like, it's nice. Explosive boost. This order increases the damage hand of hand grenades for one ally. Oh, helpful. Uh, let's get the... Yeah, let's keep let's keep pumping these. I, I'm i going to focus on uh, scouts and snipers for a bit. Because if I can get them up to level 11, snipers get the ability to do interception fire, which is incredibly helpful. And uh, scouts get a grenade launcher. I think? I think that's how it works. I know the other classes get some pretty sweet stuff. I don't actually think Grenadiers get anything. I just like upgrading the Grenadiers because they they kind of break the flow of the game. Oops. I didn't actually finish. Good to see you. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'd say I'm not gonna try now and overgrind here. Uh, on this series, but there's a very real possibility. I'm just gonna, like, load the game up every once in a while and do a skirmish off camera. Or, like, go back and do every mission that I just did, but, like, do it well. I'm not- I'm generally not going to include that You've on YouTube. Up. Hmm. Okay, all units evade. All allies evasion. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, so this will get snipers and scouts up to 11. You're not done! Yeah, so I've been grinding a little bit off screen. Yeah. I mean, absolutely true. It's so much faster. Uh... With You've times up, X so speed on. Okay, so does this actually get class up? There we go. Elite classes. Classes promoted to the rank of elite get a strength boost and special bonuses. Certain elite classes gain access to exclusive weapons for extra uh, versatility. As of today, the scouts are now scout elites. Congratulations. You're now authorized to use rifle grenades. Try them out. Snipers have been promoted to Sniper Elites. Congratulations. You're now authorized for interception fire. Good luck out there. I like it how they're... It, it's not that they've learned how to do it or anything. They're authorized to do so. That is, like, the most condescending thing ever. And it's like, don't shoot at oncoming enemies. You're not high Just enough rank. Do it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, more grenades. I am, uh... I'm looking forward to what kind of awful things we can do with up, Elite so Scouts. Hmm. Okay, new order, attack boost. Fair enough. Uh, let's see, can I level everybody up? Yeah. I'm gonna try and keep everybody about the same. But I will definitely, uh, probably keep pumping Just points into... Uh, once I get everybody up to 11, I'll go back to focusing on every class. Or, I'll start You've focusing up, on specific so ones. Hmm. Okay, demolition boost, anti-tank attack power, cool. And we're out of points, but this should make life easier for me. A sniper elite, so when we get sniper elite V3, today? we can shoot Hitler in the testicles. I think that's actually been in every single sniper elite game. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain they did, uh... There were multiple sniper elite, like, DLCs where you have to shoot Hitler in the balls. I could be wrong. Anyway, we've got a squad story. We got several, so we should start doing them. I'll fetch a good price for this thing. And this doodad ain't half bad either. <laughs> got me quite a haul today. Uh, Godwin? Huh? Who are you? I'm Nico.
Nico. Nico Emery? We're in the same squad? More importantly, I saw you stealing from those soldiers. You can't keep looting bodies like this. It's a sin. You could go to hell for that. Huh. <laughs> Must be pretty nice living in La La Land, where everything's rainbows and sunshine. But those of us in the real world gotta get by somehow. Besides, they're dead. They don't need this crap. I do. You could turn a blind eye, can't you, Missy? N no Godwin! I can't! What you're doing is disrespectful to the departed! Even if I turn a blind eye, God is always watching! Return what you took right now! The big man in the sky, huh? Ooh, I'm shaking my stolen boots. If God was real, I would have never been born. Huh? This is a bit much. You just don't get it, Missy. There's haves and have-nots. One don't know jack shit about the other. Not everyone's as privileged as you. Some of us gotta scrape and claw our way through the dirt to survive. What? Please, wait! <sighs> way to kill my buzz, Missy. Godwin. Don't bother with the likes of him, Nico. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? No. How much do you know about him, Rosetta? Not much. But I know a broken man when I see one. He looked lonely. But also angry. And yet so sad. Hmm. Rosetta, I've got to help him. Hmm? I joined the army to make people's lives better. If I don't do something, who will? No one, I'm afraid. I admire your compassion, but changing the world is easier said than done. Can I ask you something, Rosetta? I heard you were in the church before you joined the army. Do you think you could convince Godwin to repent and change his... I'm honored you think so highly of my former vocation. But a dark sense troubles might be beyond my help. What do you mean? You know about the history of Europa, don't you? What the Darkson people have been through? They've suffered for centuries. No matter where they go, they're labeled as outsiders and treated with prejudice. Yes, I know. But none of that is Godwin's fault. Or mine. You're right. But it doesn't change a thing. You see, I was inducted into the priesthood by a Darkson. He was... my friend. A gentle and loving man. He was a Darkson rights activist, whose many supporters worked day and night to fight against bigotry and hatred. But in the end, his dreams never came true. He was shot and killed by extremists during a peaceful protest. That's horrible. That's life. Godwin's no different. He's a refugee, you know. The war tore him from his home and family. Everywhere he went, he was met with cold hearts and closed doors. The only person he could rely on was himself. So that's why he loots bodies. He's only trying to survive. Or maybe he got so tired of people stereotyping him and his race, he's given up on proving them wrong. It's all just so... sad. Is there nothing we can do to help? Not within my power, at least. Discrimination is a bigger problem than any one person can solve. It's sad, but true. I guess so. Chin up, Nico. Your compassion is a virtue, but getting down in the dumps won't help anyone. Neither will doing nothing. I'm not gonna give up on Godwin. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know there has to be something I can do to help him. Well, I can't stop you from trying. But if he doesn't want your help, there's no shame in calling it quits. Just keep that in mind, okay? I will. Thanks.
How much are are there for these? Do they include a battle or is it all dialogue? Because if it's all dialogue, I might get these done off stream. Or like, just do skirmishes in between. I don't really know. Because like, these are not short. And I want to do them? Uh, does anybody actually know? Um... Or, like, does anybody know, uh, if they actually involve battles or whatever? Because, like, I want to... <laughs> I want to do them, but if they're going to be like this, I'd rather actually come back, uh, and do them off-stream or something. Let's just... let's just do them off-stream. How do I... let's go... Let's go back to episodes. Let's... let's actually try and get into a proper mission. I'll do the, uh, squad stories later. Because, like, I actually want to play this game, not just watch Talking Heads, if I can. I can feel my clothes sticking to me. I'd kill for a shower. Sorry, Riley. Not until the mission is over. I know. Just let me complain a little. God, I need a nap. Doesn't have to be cushy. I just want to get to sleep without hearing gunfire for once. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll go... Repair the Hoffman. Whoa, Miles, you can't even walk straight. Keep it together. Everyone's at their limit. We should relax while we still can. Yeah, you'd better get some rest. We need to resupply for our next deployment. Claude. Ugh. I, I know. We'll move out the moment we're done restocking. The Hoffman's out of commission, though. I'll go on foot. Don't. Huh? You don't have to. The operation's over. Wait, what? The Empire's retreating. They're abandoning the Zeekfall line. That means... We... We did it! We... won. We broke the Zeekfall line? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we got him, man! We beat him with our own two hands! We fought to the finish and came out on top! Mission complete. You were all amazing. The Empire's retreat marks the end of the Battle of Ziegfall, and a narrow but decisive victory for the Federation. Although our casualties are innumerable, and our supplies are all but exhausted, a relief effort is already in the works, and morale is still high on the front line. Tonight, the camp is alive with glory and triumph as we celebrate a win that will go down in history. But tomorrow, we march, advancing further and further into the heart of the Empire. One step closer to the Imperial capital, and one step closer to the end of the war. Chapter 5, Behind the Front Lines Your perseverance at Ziegfall has earned you this medal. It was a tough fight, but we both made it through. Oh, enhanced bullets. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member. New people. Call me Odin. Oh, the roster says Thomas Kevin? Um, uh, that man is long dead. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lily Ashley at your service. I wouldn't get too close, though. I've got a curse. <laughs> Pods 
potential. Self-conscious has changed into Pledge of Courage. Riley's potential pyrophobia has changed into Absolution. Soldier's pre uh, preferences have changed. Decal for the Hafen. Personnel has been updated. Glossary has been updated. News articles. Alright. Oh, I should probably read those at some point. Oh, well. October. The color of the leaves is changing with the season. Mother Nature gave us a beautiful autumn. The Federation's victory at Ziegfall was a moment of triumph, and we remain on schedule to reach the capital. Unfortunately, a spell of bad weather trailing behind us brought our long supply train to a grinding halt. After months of tireless combat, the Ranger Corps is now on standby. And instead of launching a swift counterattack, the Empire has shown no signs of movement. It's possible they've chosen to shore up their defenses in the capital. Either way, for now we wait. And while we have this reprieve, we may as well enjoy it. <sighs> so quiet. It was until now. What, does Mr. Invincible get bored unless he's spraying bullets everywhere? I didn't say that. It's just... We're so close to the capital and yet so far. That's all Raz was trying to say. Exactly. Winter's only a couple months away, so why are we dragging our asses? Months? This war will be over in days. We're only blocked off from the mountains. The road north is wide open. All we need is a steady supply train. Then we can push all the way to the capital. That's true, I guess. When's the bad weather gonna clear up anyway? I'm observant, not psychic. I can't see that far off. But then again... What's wrong? It's too early in the season for rain clouds to be gathering in the mountains. It doesn't usually get so stormy up there until much later in the year. Uh, hmm. Better up there than down here. Last thing I want is to get rained on while I'm sitting on standby. Enough jibber-jabber. What we need are the three Bs. Bacon, beer, and babes. And we need them ASAP. Our rations are so small, I'm wasting away into a mummy. Says the guy who stole my bacon this morning. Well, it looked like you weren't gonna finish, so I ate it for you. I was enjoying my bread, not wolfing it all down. Oh, look! There it is! <coughs> so that's Einhemd. Looks like a nice town. <laughs> Raz can finally get his three Bs. All right! Bacon, beer, and babes! But you'll have to foot the bill yourselves. This is still Imperial territory. Be on your best behavior. I've just given up talking during loading screens. Huh. Lot of hustle and bustle for a small town. Luckily, there wasn't any collateral damage. They didn't even put up a fight. So everything's still up and running. Like nothing happened. Sucks we gotta buy our own stuff, though. How tight-fisted can you get? The army can't sign off on luxuries like alcohol and meat. Not even sweets? You're going to pay me back double for that bacon. 
Otherwise, I'm taking some of your bread from every meal. Fine, you win. I'll bust open my piggy bank and buy out all the bacon in town. Hey, Miles, you can come with. I'm good. I was gonna go look for tank parts with Claude. Apparently, some of the shops here stock Imperial tech. If nothing else, Empire knows how to make a tank. Wait, they're just buying that from a store? Walk into the Walmart? Yeah, um... Oh, jeez, I need a new axle for my tank? Yeah, it's over there on the shelf. What? Just get over here, you moron. Huh? Come on already! Huh? Wait, Claude! I'll make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Huh? Is Kai really that hungry? Oh, Rags, wait! Where are you going, boy? After sitting for so long, he probably wants to go on a walk. That makes two of us. Yeah. Shall we get going then? Go where? After Rags. I don't want him scaring the townsfolk. Of course. We're kind of his owners, after all. Huh? I can get down myself, thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Hurry up! We're gonna lose sight of him! Oh, right. Never thought I'd see you playing matchmaker. Ah, oh, shut it. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to give them some alone time, too. Yeah, I can't expect them to forget the past. But it makes me feel awkward just watching them. Not that I'm making any assumptions. I just hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Well, they're not the only two who get some alone time. Huh? What do you mean? Damn it, you can be dense sometimes. I meant that you and me can, you know... Hey guys, what are you talking about? Never mind, forget it! Uh, Raz! Where are you going? The butcher's back here! But what do you mean you're all out? Are you refusing service to the Federation Army? Sorry about him. He's got low blood sugar. Calm down, Raz. They're obviously sold out. Not a single piece of jerky? He's got to be holding out on us. I'll ask if there are any other butchers in town. Mystery solved. Someone bought out their entire stock. What kind of sneaky rat bastards did that? Another squad. One that got here before us. Just give it up, Raz. I'll settle for bread instead of bacon. Mmm. Fluffy white bread. Fresh out of the oven. Sure does love kids. Such a good boy. Yeah. It takes a rare breed to make it into special ops. For dogs and humans. Wait, hold on. You're talking combat support? Oh, you didn't know? Ragnarok isn't a pet. He's our squad mate. Has his own rank and everything. No way! Karen thinks he used to be a rescue dog trained up in the northern mountains. When we found him wandering around our camps, he was just a stray, so we took him in. Pretty soon, he started helping out with rescue missions. It wasn't long before he became our first official canine unit. Wow, you're a good, good, good boy, Rex. Oh, look at the big doggy. Mommy, can I pet him? Ah! Are you okay? She's all right. Come on, honey, don't cry. Can you stand up? 
I'm sorry. My daughter didn't mean to bother you. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Apologize to the nice soldiers. Now. But, Mom, you said I shouldn't talk to the Federation. What? Uh, that's... that's not what I... Uh, I said no talking to strangers. <laughs> Let's go, Riley. I guess we're unwanted guests here. The Federation may have taken the town peacefully, but to them, we're still foreign invaders. I knew that coming in, but... It's rough. <laughs> Come on, Rags. Let's go, boy. Hold up, Claude. Do you think this shop has those parts Miles wanted? Story. This must be the shop Miles was talking about. Wow, they've got everything. Oh, wow. It's all made in the Empire. Craftsmanship is unbelievable. Come on in. Oh, uh, pardon me. Welcome, sir and madam. I must say, you have quite the discerning eye. We don't get high quality goods like this too often, especially this far west. How'd you get your hands on Imperial Tech? Black market? More or less. Let's call them uh, unofficial channels. The parts themselves are legitimate, of course. <laughs> Welcome to Tanks R Us. <laughs> the Empire was in such a hurry to retreat, they left all sorts of cargo lying around. Sure, but selling it out in the open? Oh, I'm just skimming a little off the top. This junk's a drop in the Imperial bucket. Well, one army's trash is another's treasure. I'll swing back later with my driver. And I'll be here when you're ready to buy. Thanks. See ya. Oh, wait! Your squad isn't heading north, is it? Uh... Probably? Most likely, yes. Then you should watch out for the Winter Witch. It's an old legend around these parts. Come wintertime, the North grows so cold that everything ices over. Everything! Horses can't move, guns won't fire. Frozen in time by the Winter Witch's curse. So what, it's a big blizzard? That's fine. This war will be over before the first frost. Besides... It's just another fairy tale. All stories have a kernel of truth. The Imperial Army's no stranger to the blizzards of the North. And they'd sooner fight the entire Federation than be caught in the Winter Witch's claws. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. <laughs> I just like you two. Seeing a happy couple in wartime reminds me of when I was young and in love. Uh, hold on. It's not like we're dating or anything. Anime. Ah, no need to be shy. It's not like it's against the rules. War makes you forget about what's really important. With death all around, it's easy to forget how to live. Peace and love. That's what this world needs. Settle down. Raise a family. Grow old together, hmm? I told you, it's not like that! All right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, this isn't awkward. Hope you lovebirds live happily ever after. Anime. Unreal. All the bread in town, too? I don't know who bought out the entire bakery, but I will find them, and I will kill them. Kai, over there! It's the food bandits! Them. They're from Squad F! Damn it! Give me back my meat! Hand over that bread now! 
What are you doing? We're on your side! Oh no! They're fighting each other! Claude! You've gotta stop them! Stand your ground, brave knights. Don't let them take a single slice of Lieutenant Victor's bacon! What are you idiots thinking stacking the bread that high? It's going to get squished! Hey! Get your paws off my ham and my jerky! Enough! Cease this at once! Crystal, did you order this mountain of food? Uh, well, yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's going on here, Minerva? Your jackbooted thugs tried to rob us of our supplies. Only because you jackholes bought everything out in the first place! All of it was purchased out of my own pocket. Is it a crime to support local businesses? It is when other people go hungry because of it! Where's that covered in your code of chivalry? Not only that, it may stir up anti-federation sentiments from the townspeople. I'll have to report this to HQ. Now see here! <clears throat> it... It's true. A knight must show compassion. I'll allow Squad E to challenge us for it. We're both proud warriors, you and I. Let's settle this in a mock duel. Oh, you're gonna get stalled. On the off chance that you win, we'll share our food. Assuming that could happen in a thousand years. And if we win, to the victor belong the spoils! Oh, Minerva... These brutes aren't worthy of your mercy. They took my bread, Claude. My fluffy bread. I'm taking it back. Fine. But if we play along with Minerva's game, we're playing to win. Squad E, suit up. Hell yeah! I'll show them how far a man will go for meat! <laughs> I, was, I was hoping we get some battles at some point. This is not what I was expecting. Not at all. This is a mock battle between squads F and E. It seems we were quicker in setting up our encampment. No hard feelings, Claude. The first squad to capture all the other squad ca squ uh, squads camps will be declared victorious. We'll be using non-lethal training rounds, but getting shot's still gonna hurt. Soldiers who fall in gun uh, fall to gunfire deemed KIA and must retreat. Rescues are forbidden. Maybe a mock battle, but I won't be holding back, and neither should you. Okay, so capture all enemy camps. Uh, Twenty turns pass. Got it. Oh, uh, first and foremost. Unfortunately, my wrist brace is starting to break up. A little bit. Oh yeah, the uh, the Velcro isn't holding anymore because the the surface is getting felted, and I can't find my other brace. It sucks. I if I could do like probably a hand or something, probably not. I don't think that would work very well. Luckily, I'm losing weight, so it's easier for me to like strap it down. Okay. Uh, let's see. First and foremost, I I have some equipment. I should ah, there we are. Oh boy, we got a bunch. So, uh, getting A rank and everything actually got me a lot of little accessories. Plus five to aim, dodge, personnel, defense. Aim and for personnel. Aim and armor. Okay. Now, I think he. I don't actually know if we're using a tank in this one. Well, who do we have and who should I send? Oh, yeah. Uh, also, other thing I don't know about this game. How do these ranks work? Because some of these guys are privates. He's a corporal. I think it's based on, like, using them a bunch. Yeah, because I use Curtis and, and Godwin the most. Well, I should probably give Godwin something. Uh, I'll probably give him the body armor. Let's see. I should probably give Norid... One of the, uh, the plus five aim. Because his accuracy is bad. And Kai's is still considerably better. Okay. 
So the extra range, we should give Connor something. He's been destroying people. I don't really know what, though. The extra HP is probably kind of nice, because I do tend to frontline him. Allard. Who else do I use a bunch? Uh, it's it, it's. I think it's Jimmy that's got the really good one of these. Let's give him the enhanced uh, the enhanced bullets. Extra aim on a uh, lancer seems reasonable as well. Other than that, yeah, we've already got Ryan. I'll figure out who else I want to use on this one. Oh, Odin's got pretty good accuracy for a scout, so I'll consider bringing him along. Uh, can I? Okay, so I can't actually equip him with anything, so I guess we'll just give him the, the lucky coin. I also have this small knife. I don't know who I'm going to give that to. Oh, Aladdin doesn't have anything. I have the small knife. Your accuracy is good enough. Alright, uh, let's see. The other thing is, is it tank parts? Often. I think we need a new decal. Because currently I've got resistance and accuracy. Nope, I'm fine with what I, what we've got. Okay, so position units. Oh, so we straight up get vehicles on this one. That's okay. I've got this. Hmm. All right. I don't know if they get vehicles. They probably will. Let's do it. Let's chuck Laurent down. And one engineer. Oh, I see. That one had Claude. So we don't we don't actually we don't actually get Dan on this one. Here? Got it. Alright, here we go. My turn. Riley and Latin. Ready and waiting. Okay, there we go. Enough talk. Let's do this, Claude. This is a dumb mission. This may be a mock battle, but Squad F is deadly serious. I expect no less from you. Squad E, move out! So, uh, this is gonna be dumb. Ha! <laughs> I've been waiting to test my mettle against you. Didn't we fight enough back at the Academy? That was before we were tempered in the fires of war. We shall see whose blade is sharper. Don't hold back! Has she always been... like that? Her personality hasn't changed, at least. Whatever she does, she does with conviction. That's just who Minerva is. But as a commander, as a leader, she might as well be a whole new person. Squad F has helped her grow, and vice versa. The best of the best, no doubt about it. Challenge accepted, Minerva. I'll give you all I've got. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, yeah, he's well. Leave it to me. We already see where he is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so now we've got a vague idea of where some of my foes are. A couple of good shot. spots for uh, for chucking snipers, actually, now that I think about it. Fortunately, Bullseye. Are you kidding me? They can do that? Damn it. <laughs> I'm, I was not aware that they could do that. I feel mildly cheated by this. Where's the tank? Allard... You're accurate enough. There we go. I did not know that they would just pop down like that. That was that was mean. Okay. Well, what else do we? What else do they have? What else do we see? They do have a tank. Okay, moving. Oh, I have a tank. Enemy sighted. 
There they are. Follow Commander Victor. Let's see, that's a shock trooper. Right yeah, that, that seems reasonable. He lived through it. I'm impressed. Okay. So we do have a Lancer over there. There's Kai. Moving out. I'm gonna use, see if I can do, is use the tank as cover. Snipe this guy right in the nog. There, there we go. That solves problems. Didn't take much. <laughs> if you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a tank. This, this is suspect reasoning. Okay, so I still see, oh, there's a sniper all the way up there. Might be able Moving to get him. Out. I can get somebody with her. Oh, there he is. Blink. One shot's all I need. There. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> to attack if you want to I love the ragdolls in this game. Don't forget, lancers are basically tanks on legs. They apparently don't have a whole lot of health. Uh, lancers are real weak against, um... Now, what Lancers are real weak against headshots if they're not from, uh, if they're not behind cover. It actually works really well for me. Uh, as oh, long as they're not her. hidden behind cover, I can just plink them pretty easily. Okay, that should be good. Pretty hard to hit him. As long as we don't accidentally hit Kai here. Alright, so we've got Engineer there. We do have the super injured Shock Trooper, but that Shock Trooper is going down. On his next turn. And that, uh, that's gonna be easier. And yeah, the Hoffin is pointed in such a perfect location. Okay. Another Shock Trooper there. Now, unfortunately, I made the mistake with Riley. She's still got the anti-tank rounds, but I guess they do potentially have one or two tanks. I don't know what Minerva is. Uh, could send in Allard. Or let's let's just end phase and uh, wait for the next round. The other thing I could do is Try not to get grab Rebecca. Enemy spotted. I'm gonna hail Mary I'll rush this. Squad F is truly capable of. The better offense than that to take on Squad F. Oh. There's someone above. Oh well. Hey! Thank you, Carson uh sure for the sub. Okay, so we've got somebody up above. Arondite is in position. They're right where I want them. <laughs> Excalibur here. Copy that, Arondite. Keep me posted as necessary. Accurate and precise. I'd expect no less from her. Sniper, probably. I must lead, or no one will. All units, follow my lead. Follow my lead. Okay, so she's actually just like a regular unit. She looks like she's kind of a, a scout ish. Good to know. She's got some range. Now, hey, how oh. large? No. <laughs> Easy. Okay. No! <laughs> oh Jesus, she is tanky. Then again, uh, yep. Saw that coming. What is going on here? Yeah, I totally forgot to uh, switch out her equipment, so she's still got the anti per uh, she's still got the anti tank rounds, which is not great. Anyway, <laughs> easy. Give them all we've got. How large? No. Go, Allard! 
Don't die on me, buddy! Last one. Nope, it's this guy. Alright. And we lose LR. Oh, we don't! Holy crap! That- <laughs> Wow! Uh, they were not- they were not ready for that, necessarily. Alright. Okay, moving out. Change of plans. I will see this through. There they are. Think there's something between her and Lieutenant Wallace? Hey Minerva. How's it going? Nice uh right there. whatever you got there. <laughs> Easy. What the devil? Are you kidding me? Are you... are you... Advanced. Really? <laughs> Easy. Advancing! Really? I'm just gonna You're position him so his butt's away. Perfect. Okay, so as I thought, we do have a scout up there. Not that helpful. There's also a mortar right freaking here. Now advancing. Kai. Okay, so I pretty much can't do anything. I'm gonna have to switch to <laughs> Connor, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take him out and then Too end her easy. action as fast as possible so she doesn't immediately get shelled. You know, Rebecca might be Enemy able to solve spotted. the problem. Enemy spotted. Shots to kill. Suck it up. This is. Just I feel cheated. I or not, actually. Okay. Try not to get killed. Yeah, I should have used a grenade. Uh, because he was technically behind cover. On to the next one. I'm just gonna plunk her there. We'll get the artillery in the next round. Okay, or not the next round on no. Connor's turn. What genre? It's all research, really. You'll have to go. There we go. Probably should have done that from the start. Yeah, there's a ladder there. What's the matter? Okay. I don't know how Kai is doing, but I can't do much about it. All right. Uh. Honestly, considering Minerva's right there, it's. You know what I could do. Instead of incurring meaningless All losses. Over. Crouch him behind sandbags. Too easy. There we go, that's some damage. I'm just gonna leave one uh discount one shot man uh to defend this spot. And more or less put Minerva directly in front of a tank and uh Jesus, they have a lot of CP. And they do have a tank. Now, Spumador, Sally forth. Yes, ma'am. Charge the enemy cap. Onward to victory, Squad F. <laughs> On your guard. No big deal. I'd say Awi. Wait, does he? Okay, he does have he does have weak points. Is he? 
No! Aladdin! I'm too handsome to die. Oh well. Moving out. Yeah, so they'll take that camp. But you know what they're also going to do? Yeah, yeah. Giving up already? You disappoint me, Claude. We've yet to break a sweat. Have you? Thanks, Squad F. I can tell they've been training hard. Their nerve is sharper than ever. We've really got to step up our game. I mean, we're destroying them. What's he doing? Why did he... Why did he do that? Uh-oh. Oh, there goes Rebecca. Okay. I'm only... Mostly dead. It's fine. We're good. He didn't take the camp. Damn it. Double damn it. What? We survived that. They both survived that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, sure. Uh, is that... Okay, so we lost some people. Let's bring in Raz, who I should have brought in originally. Bring in her. Get over here. Okay, moving out. Cause somebody did a dumb. Like obviously, uh, sacking, sac sacrificing this camp, not exactly what I wanted to do, but uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, oh well. I mean, they don't have. Advancing. They have troops left. They have a number of troops left. How, uh, how, no. Okay. Oh, he's out of ammo. Okay, that's... No, he's not out of ammo. It's a darn dirty lie. It took some damage because we lost our cover. Enemy sighted. What's the matter? You've got to attack if you want to win. Enemy sighted. Okay. So you sighted him, which is exactly what I needed to do. Now, once you grab Connor. Alright, so this should be good enough. Alright, that's a Lancer. He's gonna take too many there. shots to kill, but that's fine. I'm here for the scout. What I want to do is get him we we up the ladder up this direction. And we still have this camp over here, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So you wonder you should heal Kai. I should. I got another grenadier, but what we want is probably Norid. So yeah, they're oh, they have so much CP. CP.
I think her her AI is like busted. Oh, there goes Kai. Dang it. That guy had some distance on him. Moving out. Part of the problem is like Minerva is like kind of weird hacks and I don't like it. Well, Connor just got real lucky. Cuz like the fact that she can eat all those mortars without trouble is like actually kind of infuriating. Like, I ran her over with a tank repeatedly, shot her with a machine gun, mortared her two to three times, sniped her in the face, and it's like, after a certain point, I have to question a little bit. Okay, so I do get some reinforcements, which we desperately needed. Okay. So let's grab Norid. Norid, don't miss. Okay, that's that's a be better accuracy than he had last time. There we go. Circle of life. She's like some sort of boss character, don't you think? Yeah, except for like I was expecting her to be just slightly I'm tougher, down. not like to me. tank durable. There's our prey. No. Let's what grab Connor. Kind of do the same thing. Uh, it's. Put it away. Let's there hope this are. guy can climb ladders. I think he can. Watch out for anti-tank weapons. There they are. Okay. So we got the Lancer there, Shock Trooper there, Grenadier there. We'll That's what go. I'm looking for. Alright, so he's done. And they're very focused on that singular camp, which is good. Gives me some, uh, gives me some solutions. Um, My heart is pounding. let's grab her. Yeah, she's, she's really dodge happy. I don't know, there's, there's some hacks that I'm like, I'm not, I'm not entirely, uh, convinced her fair. Okay. That's fine. I feel like they named her Oif. Uh, to sound like her name is Wife. Not gonna be able to hit Crystal from there, frustratingly enough. Oh! Forgive me. Oh! Okay, that hurts Minerva real bad. Okay, so we've got our solution here. Because, yeah, if I can take care of Minerva, we're all okay. good. The main problem is she's just weirdly unkillable up until now. Forgive but mortaring Minerva... Mortaring Minerva works real, real great. Okay, so I've still got a Lancer over there, which is kind of a problem. Advancing. Because I pretty much can't do too much to it, but that's okay. I hope the tread. Right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no CP loss for taking out Minerva. You really think? You really would think. Okay. Strangely Moving not. Out. Okay. I'm gonna force the Lancer to come to me. I hope the treads hold out. That should be plenty within range. That should hit him. Right there. Unless he ducks too, which which point I'm gonna be mad. Ducking ducking mortars just seems like the the most unfair nonsense. Okay. What else do we need? Uh, honestly, what I should grab now that we've cleared this out is I need Godwin.
I like how they waste her CP to just have her run around repeatedly. Her AP is uh, her her AI is is fully fully broke. Claude? Nope. Cripes, they run forever. Uh. <laughs> I. He had a plan. Apparently. Okay. No, look, I have a choice. So Godwin. There you are. Out of my way. Thank you, Godwin. Give so how do we do this? Okay, so they hey, do on. have another mortar. Let's loot the place. But that's okay. Effectively, Godwin is just my sprinter right now. Claude, what are your orders? Okay, so we know where the we know where the other mortar is now. Secret sneaky mortar all the way back there, but that's fine. So they've got her all the way up there, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Okay. And that scout who probably ain't going to be a problem. Uh, let's see. Put it away. But I'm fighting for bread. Okay, this should work. I mean, he's like right there. Now that we're not, now that we're not sandwiched between buildings. Yep. No, he's gone. I love, I love secret grenadiers. Actually, by the way, I was, I was looking up the grenadiers in this game. Apparently, um, apparently grenadiers were an accident. Uh, right. The, uh, the developers ran into a bug uh, while making uh, Valkyria Chronicles 1, I believe it was. Uh, Isn't there something between her and Lieutenant Wallace? They ran into a bug where the tanks would shoot grenades, like, vertically instead of... Uh, instead of... Uh, got him. Uh, instead of, like, properly normal tank shells, and they're like, oh, this is really cool, actually. Uh, oh, A-O-I-F-E is actually pronounced Aoife. Really? It looks like wife. Oif. Kinda. Uh. I guess I'm pretty wrong on this. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so apparently it was a bug that, uh, that they wanted to reproduce, but uh, Valkyria Chronicles 2, they couldn't do it. Probably budgetary concerns, and Valkyria Chronicles 3, the maps were too small, so it would have made them too strong. Uh, so they... So they decided against it. And so they finally were like, hey! You know, we could, we're finally in, uh, in position, Naturally. you know, to actually implement this feature. Now, unfortunately, our worst sniper is the one remaining. I probably should have given him an aim command. Let's do it. Uh, no. Orders? This is an order. Come down and take aim. A-O-I-F-E is Irish in an origin, and Zavala's are in Celtic or weird, or Celtic. Huh, interesting. Naturally. Okay, so let's try this again. That does not look like as much of an aim Talk boost as I was aiming for. But that's okay. She's gone. Survival of the fittest. That was... She didn't count as a commander? What? What hokey nonsense is this? Alright, whatever. They don't have anybody left. From the mists we rise. Grant them no quarter. Begin Operation Avalon. Knights of the Round Table, awaken! What? 
What? Oh. I guess she had sneaky grass troops that were hiding out. That's bull. Ha! Not even close. Um. Is that it? Oh no, he's going to the base that... Yep. Hey, Raz. <laughs> Thanks, Raz. <laughs> so she just has two dudes. Okay, moving out. Alright. She just has two dudes that were, like, hiding in the grass somewhere. And that was just her plan, I guess. From the mist we rise... Hello! How do you like a mortar? Shit, he survived. I'm kind of impressed. I wasn't sure about this game. It actually looks kind of fun. It is fun. It's it's a weird strategy, uh, like tactical shooter-ish, turn-based strategy RPG. Hey Claude, uh, let's show off a little. But it's got some really really neat like aspects. Faster. Anyway, I think that's it for all their dudes. Yeah, I was wondering where all their officers were. Run them over. Sadly, running people over in this that game is like the well, most yes. meaningless thing ever. It's also very anime. One way or another. <laughs> Squad F. Defeated? How could I let this happen? Well, you cheated. You bum-rushed my tank, but ignored him. Yeah, mainly those two things. I'm so sorry, Commander. We've let you down. No, you all fought valiantly. I only let down myself. It appears I'm still no match for Claude. Whew. Won the clash of classmates! Barely. I don't think we do half so well in a rematch. We do better. Minerva really is something. She's a cheater! Hey, rank B. Not bad. Salty tears make it even tastier. Wait, no booze? What are they, a bunch of babies? <laughs> How could I let such disgrace fall upon Minerva's name? Oh, I'm so ashamed. We're still on the same team, Minerva. Why don't you come eat with us? With a squad that lacks even basic table manners? I'd sooner dine alone. Manners, schmanners. But you know what makes bacon taste better than your tears? Washing it down with a bottle of bourbon. What? You're drinking in the middle of the day? It's 1700 hours somewhere, and I'm willing to share. Come on, raise a glass with us. Please, at least accept our rustic hospitality. Break bread with us, Lieutenant. Put bacon between the bread and presto! Just one LT short of a BLT. Uh, Minerva? Very well. Squats F and E are getting some joint R&R. &R. 
We'll wrap up today's team building exercise with a short dinner party before curfew. Drinking will be allowed. In moderation. Cripes, you gonna file a report for every sip? Quiet, you. All right, then. A toast. To the Ranger Corps. Cheers! Cheers! Wow, you can hold your booze better than I thought. <laughs> I can enjoy a drink every now and then. Nice. That makes you my new drinking buddy. Why, I... I said now and then. Ah, <sighs> bacon sandwiches. Truly the best of both worlds. I found some cookies in the supplies. Maybe I'll brew tea to go with them. Can you make some for me, please? Of course. Hmm? Huh? The wind is... It can't be. Winter already? That day, we were ambushed by the one enemy we feared more than any other. A fall of snow, far earlier than we'd ever suspected. Winter had come to the Empire, and with it, the stark realization that this operation would not be as easy as it seemed. Chapter... Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Vinci Fiore reporting in. And I'm super sober, so don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> hey, you. I'm Rita Raywater. I'm single, ready to mingle, and I know my way around a wrench. Nice to meet ya. All right. Oh, wow, that was a quick chapter five, wasn't it?